Okay, now that we've inputted our geometry and defined the various faces, the boundaries, and created our region, the next step is to define our continua, uh, which is basically the physics of the fluid we're going to use. So we have to tell SARS-CCM whether it's air or water or gas. And then the next thing is to define the mesh. So we'll get onto that a bit later. So for now, let's set up the physics continuum, like so. And so here the physics comes up. So we select this tab here and right click, press select models. So here is basically where we're telling C Star CCM all about the physics. So this is a three dimensional flow. Uh, and by the way, I know there's a lot of options here. Uh, and at first you may not know what to click. Um, but don't worry, over time you'll you'll get the hang of it. Uh, so it's three-dimensional, that's obvious. So we have two types of flow, unsteady, which means it changes with time, or steady, which means um, it's kind of a, like a, the result you would get after a long period of time if, this, if the particular flow kind of um, goes towards a certain state, a steady state. So let's go ahead and click steady and we'll be trying to see airflow so press gas and by default it's air. Uh, let's use the segregated flow solver and a constant density equation of state. Uh, most engineering applications you'll be using a turbulent model as well in most practical applications and the K epsilon turbulence model is normally it's a well-known model and uh, it's it's used in a lot of cases so uh, go ahead and click close so now we've set up our uh, our models um, some of the other parameters within this continua tab that we can set is for example the initial conditions so Uh, the initial conditions basically describe the state of the entire flow at the beginning of the simulation. So this isn't the inlet, by the way. This is just all of what's inside of this region. It'll begin with this uh, velocity in this case. So let's go ahead and set that to um, 0 0.05 meters per second. Okay. So at the beginning of the simulation, all of the fluid will be moving with that speed uh, in the positive x axis okay and that should be okay for the physics um, now let's go ahead and define our mesh continuum so basically in in CFD the entire volume will be divided into small uh, volumes or small blocks and in this in these settings here you you basically tell CCM star CCM how you want it to, to do the division so let's right click this models select meshing models and normally you want to use surface remesher and surface wrapper so these things just sort of wrap your surface um, in order to Okay, and we'll also use uh, the trimmer model. So trimmer just basically creates little cuboidal elements. And okay, so that's cool for this video. In the next video, you'll learn how to actually create the mesh.